Chuck with Razorback Off-Road. Today I'd like to share with you uh, the latest bracket that we're bringing to the market and that's our Rotapax uh, roll bar mount. What we really recognize within the industry is there's a lot of people out there running side-by-sides and Jeeps and things like that that don't have our cargo rack and wanted a better way to mount their uh, Rotapax onto their roll bar. So we developed this mount. We offer this mount in three different sizes. You can buy it in an inch and a half, and it'll fit inch and a half tubing. We also offer one that fits inch and three quarter tubing, and one that fits inch and seven eighths tubing. And this is a great mount to use your fuel packs. So I'm gonna kind of segue into talking a little bit about uh, the Rotapax jug, because I think a lot of people maybe aren't fully uh, um, informed about this fuel jug. So Rotapax makes this jug and they make it in a, they have three different names. One is the Fuel Packs, then there's the Rotapax, and then there's the Rotapax Gen 2. We really like the Rotapax Gen 2. It's rotationally molded. It's super, super strong. Uh, we've never, they just don't leak. They come with a five-year warranty. Um, we just really love these jugs, and they're made in the USA, which is kind of important to us. You'll also notice on this jug that it has this dimple and this slot, and that allows you, uh, when you put it onto our mount, to be able to clock it in several different locations. As you'll see here as the video, you can lock it in this position, this position. You can mount it in all kinds of position. It's got a great carrying handhold. Um, they're stackable, it's just a great jug. We stock these in the two gallon. Um, we stock them in the gas. We also stock them in the Gen 2 uh, water jug. And we also started carrying the trail kit. And this has been pretty popular lately because you can uh, fold this down. It has all kinds of storage in here. You can carry extra rope and just extra survival gear. And it's a nice way as you'll see in the video, to just secure things up and out of the way. One thing I do want to tell you about, you know, when you're mounting these fuel jugs on your Razor, there's so many models that this thing fits that we just need to ask you to make sure you're checking, reading your operations manual, checking with your local fire department about the do's and don'ts of where you can mount these fuel jugs. Well, now that I got that out of the way, I want to tell you a little bit more about our Rotapax mount here. And you know, I always say we're quite proud of them, but I mean, this is something, we've been testing this thing for about a year and a half now. We made a real feature debut of it down at SEMA on our Turbo S build. The response has been overwhelming and now we're finally getting uh, to bring this thing to the market. Normally, or we only offer it in this textured powder coat black finish but for the video, we went ahead and did a couple orange so I can show you how they work. So really it's just this, this clamping system right here. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put this side on your roll bar and then you're gonna put the bolts in here and clamp this and then this adjust in and out. And that's something that we may be the only people on the market that have this uh, adjustable feature right here. And what that does is it allows you to mount your jug. You know, you'll see a little bit later, we're gonna mount this on a Turbo S and you just, you need some flexibility to be able to move the jug out to get around little things that stick out on your machine. So we're quite proud of that. You'll also notice these dimple holes here on our Rotapax or our mount. Maybe I can show you better from the back. And these little dimples align with the dimple on the fuel jug, so that allows you to that allows you to mount this fuel jug this way. You know, you can mount it in any of these clocking positions. So it works out really good. I think the thing that people like the most about our mount is definitely the way we lock ours in. So we use this thumb screw here. And the thing, if you're a first time user of a Rotapax or a fuel packs, what happens to these things is in the summer, when the heat comes out, it doesn't even have to be summer, as the sun comes out, the fuel jug will swell up and it pushes out. Well, most of the 
competitive brackets on the market, they use just a locking mechanism. Well, when your fuel jug swells up, it's really hard to get that out. With our mount, you can just simply unscrew the screw and out it comes. And it's just something that um, everybody just really loves our mount. They've been asking us for quite a while to make one that'll just fit on the roll bars. This thing works on anything that has either an inch and a half or inch and three quarter or inch and seven eighths tube. Now, how do you measure the tube? There's a lot of different ways. I, I don't want to bore you guys with it, but I'm going to stay, if you want to stay uh, sticking around on the video, I'm going to show you a couple ways you can measure your tube. Well, thanks for sticking around. I'm going to do my best to show you a couple ways to measure the diameter of the tube. So the most easy or the most obvious way is to measure across the back of the tubing. And as you can see right here, this tubing clearly measures an inch and three quarters in width. Most of you won't have access to the open end of your tubing because it's installed on your side-by-side -side or your Jeep or your rock buggy or whatever. So you're gonna wanna put your tape measure along the side. Now this works good, just make sure you're really paying attention because if you, if you get your tape one side or the other, you can kind of have some false readings there. But if you really just eyeball it, you'll see this is measures, again, an inch and three quarter or 1.75. Sometimes though, as I get older, I have a hard time seeing, so I'm gonna use a, another method, which is using just plain masking tape. What I'm gonna have you do is just take the masking tape, and as we, as we wrap it around, here at the end, I'm gonna have you leave it just a little bit long. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark both pieces of tape, or this is the bottom layer and this is the one that overlapped it. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and unmask this. And now I'm gonna lay this out on a flat surface. And then I'm gonna put my, <clears throat> my tape measure on it and measure. You could, all right, and as I put this on here, it's measuring five and nine sixteenths. So I'm gonna go ahead and write down five, and 9 sixteenths of an inch. Okay, now I've got to convert 9 sixteenths to a decimal. And the way you do that is you take 9 divided by 16 and you come out with 0.5625. So this thing measures 5.5625, okay? There's a lot of math involved here. So what we have to do is we're gonna take our calculator and enter 5.5625. And then we gotta divide that by pi, or very close to pi. So pi is 3.14159. Yeah, I'm looking at my cheat sheet. And that brings us with a diameter of 1.77 which puts us 20 thousandths off, but we are working with tape measures and Sharpies here. But if you, if you just look at that, the nearest, the nearest number that it could be is one and three quarter. Hopefully that didn't go too fast, but it's just another way to kind of keep validating. Another thing I want to point out about our Rotopax mount that I didn't mention earlier is that it installs just with a 7 16 and a 3 8 end wrench. So with all of that, I want to thank you for spending a little time with us. As I've said on all, most of our other videos, it uh, means a lot to us when you purchase something from us, you're putting people back to work and that means a lot to us. And I hope to see you out on the trail.